So these are instructions for Mac users to um, get things set up for GitHub. Um, the reference that I'm using is actually from a site called theodinproject.com. If you go into their full curriculum, there is a place in here that says setting up Git. So this is the reference document and I'll post it in Slack or somewhere, but you should be able to find it. So I need you to go through these instructions. Again, this is just from Mac. Um, I don't think I have anybody using these other OSs. So to install Git, the first thing you need to do is install something called Homebrew. And this will um, this is a package manager that will make it much easier for you to install things, lots of things. Um, there is a reference, let me go to this. Um, so if you want to go to the site directly, then the site to do that is here, brew.sh. Right, but it's the same instructions. If I go over here, it says copy and paste this um, command into your terminal. And you may be able to copy it from here. You may be able to copy it a little better from here. I think when you click here, this gives you copy. Now, when it says your terminal, go here and find your terminal window. And we're going to get really comfortable with using the terminal. And so what they're saying is to copy this command here into your terminal and just let it run. A lot of things are gonna happen to set things up. Don't worry about it, right? Um, once you have done that, then you are going to get the latest version of Git by typing this from your terminal. That will give you Git. And when you want to verify that you have it and you have the latest version, you would run git dash dash version from your terminal. You'll see if I do that here, then this shows me the version of git that I'm running, okay? Um, you shouldn't have to worry about this. Now, the next thing that you want to do is a couple of commands to configure git to just give it your name, to put your email. Um, you shouldn't have to worry about this because the current version of Git uses main instead of master. So you shouldn't need this command. This is just if you want a different kind of colors on your screen, which I don't. Um, here's how you can verify that you have set up your username, for example. So if I go over here and I do git config dash dash get user dot name, you'll see that there's my username that is there. All right, um, these two commands are useful on Macs. So again, you just, you should be able to copy them from here. Um, if not, you need to type them in, right? Then you need to create a GitHub account. So you'll go to github.com. I already have an account, but you'll go here and you will register and create an account, All right? Then you need to create something called an SSH key. This is what helps with, um, it's like your password for interacting with your GitHub account and your repositories. So um, you're not gonna have one. You don't need to probably check that you already have one installed, okay? You can follow this, or I'm gonna give you another reference. If you go to the GitHub docs, or if you just search, if I search GitHub SSH key, then the first reference should be this GitHub doc. And again, over here, are all the, if you wanna read about what SSH is, you can. I don't think anybody's gonna have an existing one, so you don't need to worry about that. You need to follow these instructions to generate a new key 
So again, you do all of this in your terminal to do this, right? Once you have completed these instructions, then you need to add this key to your account. And so you follow these instructions and you will go to your account, go to settings and uh, add a, a new SH, SSH key, all right? This is really good practice to just go through, try to go through these steps. I know it might seem a little intimidating to start, but nothing that you do wrong is going to be irreparable. So don't worry about that. So that's this part, linking your SSH key with GitHub. Um, and those are the instructions that you need to go through here. Then the other thing that I want you to do is install VS Code. So if you go to VS Code Download, then you should be able to get to here and you should be able to download and install video, Visual Studio Code. Um, and this is going to be the editor and the platform that we're gonna use from now on. All right, so try to go through those instructions. Um, if you have any problems or if you can't quite do it, don't worry, we can go through it in 101s as well. But, and I'll talk about it in live session, but please make, a, make an attempt and see how far in these steps you can get. All right, 